Hello and welcome back to my second episode of Sewing Basics and I'm doing it right now today because <laughs> my car battery is dead and while it's charging up I figured I'd, do, I'd quickly do the video and show you about part two. So part, part one I showed you the, the basics so this is part two and I'm just going to show you about the machine what you'll get if you get a machine I will adjust it in a minute so you won't see my face because you really just want to see all about the machine and I'll explain some bits and pieces. So when you unpack your machine, let me un adjust this now. Okay, when you unpack your machine, you'll get the machine and you'll get a cord which one end gets plugged into the electrical socket in the wall. So make sure that wherever you set up your sewing machine, it gets plugged in to the main outlet and then at the side of the machine you'll have some little buttons there let me get this down a bit better for you okay you'll have some little buttons this is the one that this end goes into okay so you'll see it's got a circle and a square and you'll plug that in the next thing you get and this is for people obviously you've never sewn before you'll get some kind of a foot pedal so this is the bit that goes on the floor, okay, that your foot goes on, and then you get the little thing there, and that goes into the side of your machine, and then you will have an on-off button. When it's on, especially with this type of machine, a light will show up, show up. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off for now, and I'm going to pop this on the floor. This is the side of the machine, and this little circle here is what lifts the needle okay so it will lift the needle from its starting position let's have a look a bit further up okay so on the top of the machine okay don't let this don't let this worry you too much over here this little bit sticking up here and this bit these are where your bobbin goes and I've already spoke to you and said that with with any sewing project you have to have a bobbin that goes in the machine and this is the bobbin okay and then you'll have this at the top so the two meet and that's how you get your sewing and this one has a little bit of, of stuff left on it so this is where your bobbin would go if you were going to I'll do that in the next video we'll 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 actually spool a bobbin but it goes on the top of this little bit and you push it down okay so that's where it goes when you are ready to spin a bobbin like I say with the next video this goes across there and that puts the whole machine in spin bobbin mode which means this bit doesn't work okay so that's what that is so this goes let me show you this goes in and meets this bit and what this is designed to do is this kind of holds holds it nice and firm while the cotton is being transferred from here to a bobbin okay and that's how you spin your bobbin and you'll need a bobbin <laughs> okay this next bit here at the top this is where your thread gets threaded through and if I can just turn this slightly I'll show you it's easier to do this you'll see it has this bit and your cotton goes from there to there into this it, and you slide it into here and you can probably see in here it's got two little tiny uh, metal things so you have to pop it pop your cotton all the way down I will show you how to thread your cotton in a video that probably the video after spinning the bobbin but this is where the cotton goes this one's just a description of a machine. This bit down here, okay, you've got a number on here, which has number two. Not sure if you can see it, but you've got a number and you, and you just follow the number in. So you would pop your cotton down there and wind it underneath here and bring it back up, okay? And then you use this at the side and it will bring up a metal thing in there and then your cotton gets hooked around it 
and then you bring it back down. So the whole concept is that your cotton goes from there to here, down, around, and then around the little hook in there and down again. And I will show you, like I say, in a video how to do that. This here, I never touch with it. I haven't touched mine because I use mine for basics, okay? And I haven't had to, it's got lots of numbers on it. I've never had to touch that and I would say, unless you're doing some, unless you're really advanced, you're probably not watching this anyway. But I just leave mine exactly where it is and this is between four and five and I think that's a tension. Okay, I think that's a tension thing, but I'm not 100% sure because I don't mess with it. <laughs> At the side here, you'll see a little button. And what the little button does is when you are starting to sew, it just starts and goes all the way down and you have an open, obviously it's open. This just reverses the needle up just for one or two, just to sort of seal it off. And I will be showing you how to use that as well. It's very easy. Coming a bit further down, let's see if we can get a little bit more closer for you. I apologize for this. If I turn it on, you might have a better. Okay, this is where it looks a bit, yeah, I don't need to see me. This is where it might look a little bit confusing. You've got all these contraptions in here. Okay, so you've got a needle that's going all the way down and then you've got what's called a foot okay but before you get to that when the cotton comes down there's a little tiny hook just under here there's a little tiny hook just there and your cotton has to hook around this little tiny hook under there and then you bring it down and hook it through hook it through the end of your needle which is there now mine has an automatic thing on it that automatically threads a needle I haven't used it guys okay I tried it once then I thought screw it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put my glasses on and put the thread through there so that is what I've done it but I'm, I'm sure I could do you a lesson on it if you needed to now we have the base of it and because mine is a newer model it has where the bobbin should go in the bobbin goes down into a little slot okay and then this this is where it comes around once it's attached on it comes around here and the, oh, and this is just this is just to cut the cut it off you won't have this on all the machines and you don't need to use it this is just a nice little additional extra down here you've got one inch and different and different things I don't really use that either if I'm completely honest I just know how much I'm going to sew and that's it but it does have measurements for telling you how far out if you wanted to um, I'm not sure if you can see that oh that's good so you can see there it's got measurements then you've got a nice area in here you know for your um, fabric to go and then at the side here you have something that comes off it's a lever foot okay and what this does is if you were sewing something like something that's already around say something like a sleeve where it's round you see what I'm saying or um, something that's already joined round say the bot say when you're hemming pants it's already round, it's not a flat piece of fabric, it's already joined. That's a good thing to pop this, that's what I use this for. I take that off because you can pop the round bit in there and turn it around and I'll show you how to do that. And then if I'm doing a flat piece of fabric, this has two holes at the side. You have two holes there and you slide it on and it's on. Around the back, I never touch the back at all okay but this is the back of the machine and this is great because this is your handle for lifting the machine up okay so that's your handle 
and then the bottom of the machine just has the feet that keep it nice and sturdy. I honestly do not mess with anything. I just, like I say, I mean, you have an instruction booklet that should come with an, any new machine. With this one, I just want to address, um, I only paid $99 for mine originally. That was six, seven, eight months ago. But when I went on to walmart.com, they've gone up to 149 now. So I don't know, maybe it's because of what's happening in the world. I don't know, but I would probably still pay that much now um, because obviously I've used it and I know it's a good one. So up here you have a display, okay? And then you have a lot of numbers. Now, you're really only going to need, if you're just doing basic sewing, just the first couple. I normally, for a basic sew, keep mine on a zero, okay? But then you can sort of, if you wanted to do something that looked like a serge, and we are going to be doing some fabrics now showing you, then if that's number 19, you've got pluses up here on these buttons, and that is the first one. So you can see that's changed to one, and that goes to nine. And that's all I do. I don't mess around with anything else. And then when I feed my stuff through, it will come out and that will be what the sew is like. Now, a lot of these I won't use because they're for buttons. So I'm not going to use them. Um, but it has this one has some nice um, designs, sort of embroidery designs on it that I really, really like. So, and this is the most that I need. Okay. If it's a very thin colour, if the colour is very light grey, it's a, it only does one, but if it does, if it's a very dark colour, say this one is a dark colour, and this, and this, it sort of doubles, it's a double thickness, it uses double the amount of thread and gives you a thicker design. Um, and I didn't know that originally, but I know that now. And these that you see squares all the way around, these are for buttons. But like I say, if I'm going to use anything, I'm just going to use number zero, or I'm going to use a couple of these. Um, that one for surgeon, uh, and we'll talk about surgeon. And then I've used a couple of these pretty little designs to do designs on some of my fabrics. Once it's off, obviously it's not working. <laughs> you know, it's not working at all. And I think I think we've covered everything. You get this, which goes on, slides in. Once your bobbin is in properly. It slides in and keeps that bobbin in. So this it was just a, a short video. Let me just... I know you're all like, oh, she's going to make me sick. So this was really just a short video just to show you what each of these things mean. If I didn't address this one at the top that, go, that comes out and goes in, that's just where your spool goes. Okay, that's just where your spool of cotton goes. So I think the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to spin a bobbin. So you can get a bobbin set up in the machine. So what we'll do is we'll spin the bobbin and then I will show you how to put the bobbin in the machine. Um, and the correct, well, what I think anyway, is the correct way of doing it. After we've done that video, which will just be a couple of days from now, I'm going to show you how to thread your cotton through the machine and get it to come down into the needle and then from the needle what we have to do is we have to join that thread and we have to go down and we have to pick up the thread from the bobbin and get them to both join and come out so we will do a video and I'll show you how to do that um, using your machine now as obviously this is like a really basic starters video all machines are a little bit different and and they you will get a, an instruction manual with a lot of them i can only show you the machine i've got at the moment but the basic principles of sewing are the same you're always going to have some kind of bobbin spinner that you can spin a bobbin on the top of it okay you're always going to have some kind of thread spoolie at the top the, the I like this the way this one is because on my last machine it was actually to the side like this this was to the side and then you got a little cap that went on the end that stopped it coming out I actually like this one 
at the top on this it makes it a lot easier you don't need an extra piece up there and then when you're done and you're packing your thing away you just press that in so i just kind of like that there's um some things that are not on this machine that were on my other machine that it, this it all seems to be incorporated within the newer ones so i like that there's 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 some less stuff going on up here and less stuff going on around the front bit so i like that as well and i think i'll keep that nice and i think we're at like up to 15 16 minutes so that is the basics of your machine you'll get a manual that you can have but once you unpack it from the box you're going to get the pieces and this was just showing you what they are and more or less how to plug them in so the next video will be on spinning a bobbin <laughs> i hope that was helpful a little bit in the meantime thank you for watching bye